Hi there. In this video, I'll be taking you through the different graphs that we've set up for you in the bulk export report that you can play around with and fit to your needs. So I'll be starting, assuming we've already imported all of our data. If you don't know how to do that, make sure you watch our previous video where I go through the steps to combine all of your bulk exports into one CSV and load it into this uh, bulk export report. So if we go to our team dashboard after we've already uploaded everything, what it's going to do here is it's going to show you uh, a dashboard with all of your team in it. So normally in the dashboard, we just have a focus on one person, but with this, we'll be able to compare different individuals across uh, whatever time we set. So uh, in this top left graph here, we'll be able to show the total impact load and the impact load for, for per minute. These will be averages across every session that you select. Um, so you can get an idea of who on the team or the squad uh, or your patient list is way above average, way below average, right in the middle. Um, compare and contrast what their impact load and impact load per minute averages are. And then same story here with the asymmetry score. We'll show you um, sorted by who is the most asymmetrical to the right, all the way down to the who's the most asymmetrical to the left. So you can compare throughout your team um, what they look like there. So down here, we'll show you all of your different footnotes grouped by the average impact load for that footnote. So you can see with all the footnotes you do, how does it average out um, across all of your sessions? So another thing you can do here is if you go to the slicer, you can actually pick which day you wanna look at. So if I wanna look at one individual session, I can actually just look at this one day and see what my footnotes looked like for that full day across the whole team. So this is not just for the one person, but it's gonna be for everyone you have selected who was in on that day. Uh, what did the footnotes across the team look like to give you an idea of what the practice um, or the session in general looks like for everyone. One thing to note too, is if you don't see any of the data updated after you do the data import, you might need to re refresh the pivot tables that all of these <clears throat> uh, dashboards are based off of. So to do that, you just go to the pivot tables down here, you right click on the pivot table and you hit refresh, that'll refresh it with all the new data. So if we move on from our team dashboard, we'll get here to this individual footnote report. So <clears throat> by default, to make it a little bit more readable, you need to narrow down what you're looking at. Um, this first graph here will just give you an average of whatever footnote you select for whatever subject you select. So uh, in this example, I'm gonna pick my basketball player. And uh, let's say I just want to look at his dynamic warmups and his 5v5 full courts. Um, so also there's a, just a note, there's a way to toggle between just selecting one and selecting multiple. You just click this button here. So now if I want to look at the warm up and the 5v5 full court, we can throw the games in there too. Um, I am selecting more than one. To clear it, you just click clear here and then, um, you can go back and select whatever you want. So let me pull those up again. So we'll do 5v5 full court. We'll do dynamic warm up. And I think we threw game in there too. So here's where I can get my averages for this player for a specific footnote. I know that's something that people are interested in. Um, and another thing we can do here is view for specific footnotes, what their asymmetry was over time. So let's say I know that we do a lot of the warm up, and I just want to track the player's progress across the warm up over multiple days. So I've deselected everything else except for the warm up. And now what this graph is showing me is for all the days that we did a warm up, what is the asymmetry score for those specific days? So if he was hurt um, and we were rehabbing him back, how did he look across this specific footnote or group of footnotes over time? So in the dashboard automatically will give you the full sessions over time, but if you want to look at it over a specific footnote, whether that's something that you have really standardized across different sessions um, or just a particular drill that you're interested in looking at, um, you can do that here and see how they're progressing just in that drill. So the final option we have here is a drill calculator. So basically, if we take all of our averages from every time we run a certain drill, and then we estimate how many minutes we're going to run that drill, we can actually build out our session beforehand. So in this drop down here, I can pick which sessions I think I'm going to do for the session. So let's say I'm going to do a warm up and then I'm going to have them do some layup drills, and then I'm going to have them do uh, a 5v5 full court. What I can do there 
after that is put in the duration I'm going to be doing those uh, different activities. So let's say I do a 10 minute warm up. Uh, we'll do layup drills for seven minutes and we'll do 5v5 full court for 20 minutes. So now what it's going to do is it's going to give me the estimated impact load if I run those specific drills for that amount of time with my total here. So if you are in rehab or you have a specific impact load goal you're trying to hit, um, you can play around with the different drills you're going to do. Um, I need to take them in, take them out, or just play with the amount of time you're going to be running those drills to get you to where you need to go, need to be for that specific uh, impact load total. These other uh, tables here, what they're showing you is going to be what is the typical impact load you do when you do these specific drills. So typically when I do a 5v5 full court, uh, I usually get around 9,000 impact load um, regardless of time. So I know that if I do 20 minutes of this 5v5 full court, that's going to be a little over what the players are used to. Um, this typical asymmetry will give you uh, the typical asymmetry score um, for the specific drill as well. So if there's a specific drill that's really asymmetrical, we probably don't want to be doing that for a really long time. So that's kind of the end to end on the different reports that we've set up for you. Uh, if you want to talk more or have any questions, feel free to reach out to me um, or just up support at imeasureu.com. Um, and if you make any alterations, make sure you share with us um, what you've got. We might include it in the next release. So um, thanks for watching and happy measuring.